Uh, Sachi says, I wouldn't worry about consolidation all the time. There's always slow days on the network when fees are low. Like last night, I consolidated all of my UTXOs below 500,000. Yep. Then I dump only 1 million sats UTXOs into my multi-sig for the longer term. Yeah. There you go. Except Sachi, keep in mind there that if they're for the long term and you go to spend that million sat UTXO when a sat equals $1 or more, uh, whoever you send that to is going to be able to trace that back to your wallet and see what your balance is there. So yes, consider the fees, but also consider your privacy there. That's a very under talked about part of Bitcoin is the privacy aspect of when Bitcoin is worth what we think it's going to get to. Uh, you're going to have to figure out a way to send that to people and spend it without uh, triggering you know, them seeing how much Bitcoin you have. Because ima imagine that. Imagine today, in today's world, you had a million dollars. And you wanted to buy a new truck. So you take your million dollars in, in the bank, from your bank account, and you send them a, a bank wire or a check or an e-transfer for that truck. And you send it to them. And then they look back and they'll be able to see how much money you had in your bank account. That's what would happen. That's what will happen for people who are obsessed with like huge UTXOs in the future. Whenever you go to spend that, whoever you send it to is going to be able to see the balance in that UTXO, how much Bitcoin you have. And again, doesn't seem like a lot today. A million sats, not a big deal, but it's going to be. So these are the things that you must be thinking about. You must. Okay, look at this. We got a uh, couple zaps here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I peer pressured them into sending a zap. <laughs> Said, thank you, sir, for the answer on my topic. 150 sats. Thank you. And 500 sats. And also for thank you for everything. I learned, a, uh, I've learned a lot of things from you. Well, thank you. That's, uh, very nice of you. Very kind of you. Appreciate that. Very good point, George. Something I've never considered. Yeah. I don't I don't mean to sound uh, cocky here, but there's a lot of Bitcoin channels out there who do not talk about the important stuff, whether if they don't know it or not, or if they just intentionally talk about other things that will get more clicks and more shares and more AdSense revenue. So these are the kinds of things that you need to be thinking about if you're in Bitcoin today. And uh, that's what we talk about on this channel here. Hey, LaughPad, missed you. Good morning, LaughPad. Got to teach kids about uh, Seward's folly. <laughs> what the hell's that, Tom? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Catch you soon. Uh, Scotty says, so if you have UTXOs that you think are too big, you could split them up by sending between your own walls. That would work. Yep. I mean, here, here's what I'd say to it. You don't, I wouldn't recommend doing anything now. Like don't, don't reverse yourself here. Don't, uh, don't do that. That's, that's bad advice. I, I don't want to give bad advice here. Don't worry about it. The, the thing that I would say is let, let's say that you had a couple like really big UTXOs or million sat UTXOs. Like that's fine. Consider those ones to be like the UTXOs that you're going to hold on to forever in your family. And then any, any Bitcoin that you accumulate going forward, don't worry so much about the UTXO size. You can make smaller ones. And then when the time comes that you have to spend some of that Bitcoin, you can use those smaller ones because you're going to be getting more Bitcoin today. It's not like you're going to get to one Bitcoin and then just stop buying Bitcoin. We're going to forever be trading our time and energy for more Bitcoin. So don't go backwards here. Don't like start panicking that you have too big of UTXOs, but just consider that in the future where you don't need to get to a million before you move it. And the ones that you do have, the larger UTXOs that you do have, you can just keep those for the very long term, for the next 10 generations of your family. So don't go backwards here. Just in the you know going forward you can create some smaller utxos that you can spend in the future does that make sense yeah and this is kind of my like my that's kind of what i'm saying here is like 
take take like take a look at your bitcoin stack put like 50 percent of that into one utxo or 40 or 60 or whatever something like that and that's like your generational utxo that you're never going to spend you're going to pass that on forever so it doesn't really matter how big it is because you don't have any plans to ever spend that you're gonna maybe uh no nothing never spend it never tell anybody you have it it's for your family and then you have a secondary utxo of about 20 25 30 percent of your stack and that's what i'm planning to use uh at the bank in the future so the reason i say that is because if you had all 80 percent of your stack into one utxo and you wanted to go take a loan against some of your bitcoin you're now going to expose that bitcoin that whole 80 percent utxo to the bank so they're now going to know how much bitcoin you have whereas if you had planned ahead and you kept 50 percent to yourself they don't ever need to know that you have that bitcoin so i that's why i have like a 25 percent utxo as my second one that's what i'm going to be comfortable lending with and it might turn into like a generational one too depending on how high this thing goes in my lifetime i might use like a five percent utxo with the bank but these are the things that you have to be thinking through here